moving forward. Now, there's, like I said, 90% of what we do is um, automatic. So it's actually quite good. You know, things, we can do more things. We can have fast and parallel activities going at once. That, that's great. You know, the other thing as well is that we can create mental shortcuts. We can make decisions without having to have all the information around it. Yeah, we can make decisions on people, whether we like them or not. Now, some people call it gut instinct. You've heard of that concept? Yeah, so we, we make decisions around um, every, things that we don't have a full um, grasp of information on. And that's mental shortcut, that's part of automaticity. Oh yeah, I, I know that person, they kind of behave in a certain way. Yeah, that's great. It also has bad points because it's part of the stereotyping that we create in our lives. So stereotyping is that when we know a particular type of person, religion, genre, we create a mental shortcut about them. Yeah, they've got tattoos, we, we create a mental shortcut about what kind of person they're gonna be. Um, the way they dress, we create a mental shortcut around them. So it is good and bad in a way. The other one is that multitasking is something that automatism helps us with. So there are things that we do now that we don't think a lot of, like I, I can drive and chat. Now you think about that, you go, well, duh. Well, yeah, remember when you started to drive, you couldn't do anything but drive. You couldn't even look in the mirror. You had to be told to look in the rear view mirror. But now we chat, we even take our hands off the wheel, and it's part of that automatism, yeah? So think about what the, in your lives is automatically done. So what are you conscious of that you do automatically? Anyone? There's heaps. Yeah, so one previously, which was smoking, was an automated yeah. um, process. Mm -hmm. um, because you do it repetitively. Um, can't say that anymore, which is good. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's totally well, it was a, just an automated process. Yes. That you would do mm. over and over and over, and you'd almost do it almost well, automatically. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, it habits is a great example of what we do automatically. Even the habits that are bad for us, we do. That's how programming is so solid. In, in, in a lot of people. What about, is something like just getting on the same side of the bed? Like, yeah. 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 Do, you, do you do this? Do you get out of the bed, go do the toilet, do your, do your yeah. thing? It like, it's the same routine. Like you could do it with the lights turned off. You'd know exactly where the door is. You know exactly where the bowl is. It, it's something you don't even think about. Like you could do it half dazed. I like, I do it, get back to bed and go, did I get up last night and go to the toilet? You don't, you don't remember. But that's, that's a great example of automaticity. And it helps us survive because, yeah, I don't think about it, I can do it half sleep. What else? Give me another example in your lives, guys. You've got heaps. I need you to be aware and, and are seeing this. Check so, the phone. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Oh, that is so true. It's how often do you do it? They're like, there's, there's stuff, you're doing something, and you're like, there's nothing to check, but you feel like you had to check it. That's a big one today. That's a massive one. I'm guilty of that one. Um, yep, going to work. Go to work. Before you realise that you're sitting down with a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> How did I get here? Did I drive? Did I get on the bus? Yes. Um, you, just that process of going from your bed to work. For a lot of people, you know, they couldn't break that down into particular steps. So yeah, good example. Yeah. Anyone else? Sorry. No, you're right. I guess how we greet people, it's always like, we always say the same thing. Yep. Like, there's nothing interesting about what we're asking. It's always just like, hi, how are you going? <laughs> <laughs> it is so... <laughs> it's not very creative in that way. Yeah. But that's part of what, you know, we do. I mean, um, if you go to the, um, you know, the supermarket, I found, I found just last week it happened and I thought, how funny are people? I went and, you know, did my stuff and, and she said, um, she, um, she went, hey, how are you guys doing? And I'm like, I'm on by myself. Like, that was her greeting. Hey, how are you guys doing? Yeah. I'm like, good. Yeah, it's like, wow. Well, I'm, I'm the only one on the aisle. I'm like, okay, cool, all right. And then she's processing, and, she, and um, there's only two items, right? She goes, you want a bag with that? I'm like, two items, okay, no. And, and then she goes, you have a great day, everyone. <laughs> but that was a routine, you know what I mean? Like that was just a, an automatic routine that we process. It's the same. I mean, you do customer service as a way that you greet. 
Yeah? Um, you know, if we do repetitive stuff, it's you do it your particular way. Um, slightly different example of that is if you greet me in a particular way, I'll almost greet you in a, in a reflection of what you say because it's just automatic. I just repeat what you, you say. repeat what I say. Yeah. yeah. And I don't mean to do that. It's, yeah. It's just. <laughs> how awkward have you had awkward conversations where um, you, you say hey how you doing and, and then you just go I'm well thanks and then, but they've asked you something else and then you kind of go uh, wait what, what did you <laughs> oh now this is awkward because you're looking at each other going okay this doesn't make sense what we just talked about have you had one of those oh, I've, I've, I've had that happen where you just automatically reply how you doing I'm well thanks and they're like uh, that actually wasn't you asked was it moving on but that, that's what automaticity does. It allows you to function in that way.